Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Team of the Season Moise Keen card to review today. So, we are taking a look at a card that is 6 foot tall, high low work rates, right footed, 3 star skills with a 3 star weak foot. Now, if you guys don't remember, EA actually gave us a silver version of this card and um, it wasn't too bad to use. It was okay uh, considering it is a silver card. Uh, now, this card will obviously not be meta oriented by any means, but he should still be pretty fun to use because of the high low work rates that he has. In-game player traits, we're working with technical dribbler, in-game attributes, he's got 92 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. I'm going to be giving him the finisher chemistry style because I want to see if I can improve his dribbling as much as possible, considering the fact that he is an average body type player, right? So, you know, just want to see what that's going to be like with this card. Um, base card stats for shooting is set up really nicely, except for long shots, which isn't really a big deal. He doesn't have any of the two main traits anyways, um, so... It's just going to mostly be, you know, get inside the 18-yard box, take a strike, potentially score, that kind of vibe with him, right? Base card stats for passing for a striker is pretty decent as well. Dribbling we are going to be experimenting with in-game. We're going to be increasing agility, balance, and dribbling as much as possible to work with the 85 reactions and the 89 ball control at 81 composure. So 81 composure with the shooting stats as well uh, will definitely be interesting to see as well. He's got 97 heading accuracy, considering the fact that he is a six-foot player. It's not bad to have, but heading is not necessarily a huge deal. It's only mostly a huge deal when you are transitioning from the defense to the forward line and you want to be able to win that ball to go on the counterattack. So it's okay to have, for sure. Um, you know, when you have, like, a team of the year Ronaldo up there, that's when you really notice the huge difference because the guy is good at everything. Uh, base card stats for physical set up really nicely at 87 strength, 85 for stamina, and 90 for jumping. So a card like this... You don't really necessarily want to tell him to come back in the fence. You want to keep him on stay forward. But for the sake of the review, we'll tell him to come back in the fence anyways uh, to kind of like stress test him in a way, right? So we're just going to go ahead and switch some players here and there if the game actually allows me to. Okay, so Kulosevsky, we will switch with Buchaguenyo, Ferland Mendy there, and then the rest of the team we'll use as is. Cool. Yeah, so we'll be using Keane up top in the striker position. I might... I might actually tell him to get in behind, potentially. Yeah, with him, I might actually do that. But we'll see. We'll see what the vibes are here. I think what I'm going to do here is keep these guys on balance and then just make sure Neymar's on state forward. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that in game. Which tactic is this again? This is the... I use, like, different accounts, so sometimes, like, I uh, don't remember where it's at. Okay, so ultra attacking. Cool. Oh, it's not a foul there from that tackle, eh? They never really count those bad boys, eh? Oh, you gotta finish that. You gotta finish that. I have to put, what, more power behind that one? I don't know about that one. Okay, I'll we'll put more power next time. Uh, the finisher is definitely making the card more usable, I would say. It's definitely making it more usable. See, over there in those situations, I want to see if I can act, at least utilize his physical presence, right? Like, if we get ahead of the defender, can I use that physical to get the shot off, you know? More shot power. Hmm, okay. Okay, so I just wanted to see what he's like just doing that skill move right there. So he's not going to be a skill move type by any means. Uh, he's definitely going to feel emphasized in those types of uh, situations. So, better to just try to go for the quick touches, quick dribbles, and then shoot immediately. Yeah, so those are the situations that I want to see. You see how he kind of gets ahead of the defender and I can use his physical a little bit? Uh, that's where... It could be helpful. What I'm noticing is the composure at 80, 82. That I'm definitely noticing with him. What's funny about this card, guys, is I actually used to tell him to be a target man striker. It was target man and, and I think stay central or drift wide. I think it was. I think that's what it was. And I actually enjoyed using him with that. So uh, that was for the uh, silver card as well. So let's see if it's going to be the case with this one too. Oh, I try to get that quick ball roll there. Oh, his shot cancel is really heavy too. 
So when you're close to the goalkeeper like that, that's where you want to do the shot cancel because it just pushes a reaction out of them and you kind of want that reaction to be able to have that empty net. Shot. Blocked there as well. Oh, the goalie didn't get it. We still have it. <laughs> Ball roll strike. Hmm. Right. Near post there. We'll take that one. He's, 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 uh... I would say I would say that Keaton, Keaton Carr is generic. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's pretty obvious to be fair. You can see that his stamina gets pretty depleted. We are forcing a lot of situations with him, but even still, I want to try him out on the target man drift wide instruction. I actually used to use that on his silver card, uh, and uh, I liked it a lot. So we'll see what's up. There we go. We got a little bit of sticky right there. I'll tell you guys this right now. I like him on the target man uh, drift wide instruction. Target man drift wide works for him for sure. I, I I don't know why. I just had a feeling when I was using his silver card, it made more sense. I like it better with that. Oh man, his like transitioning to go left and right. It's uh, it's rough. Oh, what a clearance by I do. By the way, I, I say this a lot in um, my little gameplay rants and stuff, but I really disagree with, for the video game concept, uh, that a person's defender goes inside the net when they pull their goalkeeper like an idiot. I absolutely hate that the defender does that. Because it, it bails people for, it bails people out doing really idiotic decisions. Oh man, that was a chip shot too. Way too much power behind that one. Oh, we try to hit a finesse shot from there. Why not? I hey, saw it in the air, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this a go, actually. First time. Saved by the goalkeeper. O block's, uh, o -block's pretty solid, to be fair. There you go, Keen. Good finish. We'll take that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Eh. I'm just trying the uh, finesse shot from a bad angle right there. If he had the finesse shot track, I could actually see him scoring that, to be honest. Okay, Butcher Guenga, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, man, he just takes, like... He takes so long to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I want to do a ball roll, the way that he reacts to the ball roll takes a while. I take the strike, he has that, like, little bit of a thing to take that strike. Shot from that angle. Say by Oblak. Jeez, I can't even make that pass right there. Come on, bro. All right, guys. So a final verdict on the Moise Keen team of the season card. Uh, it's not a card I would use. Uh, it's pretty obvious that I wouldn't use him beforehand as well, especially against gold players because he just doesn't have the right base characteristics to play in this game. You know, he's a physical type striker that doesn't really have... The dribbling capabilities to be a decent physical type striker. You know, like Lewandowski, how he has that team of the year card. Like, they've given him specific stats to actually make him uh, a very good card to use. But with Moise Keen, it's just different, man. Like, I gave him a finisher chemistry style. The one thing I can tell you guys is that you will not be able to fix his dribbling, right? Uh, with his average body type and base card stats for dribbling, it's not something you could fix. So if you want to use him for sentimental value, I would suggest just giving him... People are giving him like a hunter or something 
to increase his shooting and the pace, maybe tell him to get in behind. I mean, you could do that. You could. A finisher chemistry style I wanted to experiment with to see if I can actually fix his dribbling. You definitely can. 85 stamina, you want to keep him on state forward if you actually use him as a striker. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a three-star, three-star player. It doesn't even have the four-star weak foot. His finishing feels pretty generic considering the fact that with the finisher chemistry style, he's at a 99 shot power and 99 finishing. Um, so you'd assume that, like, hey, you know, maybe uh, he doesn't necessarily have the traits or whatever, but at least he has a 99 for those two stats, so it should be better. It really feels pretty generic for the most part. Um, with players like this, you actually just have to power up the strike a little bit more for it to be more consistent. Uh, but even still, it's hard to even get him into those positions because of how he kind of dribbles across the pitch. So it's not a card that I would recommend getting or using, but if you want to use him for sentimental value, I would probably give him the get in behind instruction and kind of rely on his attacking AI to get into that space. Although, I don't really rate his attacking AI that much, to be honest. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.